Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you new here, I'm Summer. And I'm Victoria. And today, if you haven't watched the last video, which will be linked down below, you would have seen how much of a struggle waking up at like 3 a.m. is. Um, and so today we're gonna kind of talk about how we finally got there and why it's not so bad for us anymore. So basically, how to become a morning person. Number one, the biggest thing that both of us agree on yes. is finding your why. Mm -hmm. What is your why? My why is basically I need the me time before. So right now my me time has been going to the gym mm -hmm. because if I wake up at a normal time, I feel really rushed right. and anxious. And then it's like, I'm going to work, I have plans, my friends might text me throughout the day, and then pretty soon I'm just go, 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 and at the end of the day, I haven't done anything that I wanted to do. Right. So I like to refer to it as make every day your Sunday, because Saturdays and Sundays are like my days. Uh, yeah. They're for me. So I'm trying to just make every morning my me time. And how about you? What's your why? My why is... Again, just to have my peace of mind in the morning because it's chaos in the morning waking up and having to get my son's lunch ready, wake up the boys, get them ready, and also getting myself ready. So waking up early gives me that like, oh, I have like two hours until I have to start getting everything ready for them. So that gives me two hours to go to the gym, take a, a 30 minute shower if I want to do, drink a cup of coffee, and just like ease my mind into the day. So what time on average like do you wake up then for your morning? My morning, I like waking up anywhere between 4.30 and 5. Mm -hmm. That is like my good, like I feel like I can take on the day. What about okay. you? I like waking up at like 3 or 4 if I'm going to go to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, oh, yeah. it's about 6 is what I've found as a happy medium mm -hmm. if I'm going to be out of the house by 7.15. So then when are you going to bed? Like 7.30, 8 o'clock, but yeah. I feel like I do that even on days that I sleep in until 6. Oh, okay. It's like a glorified extra sleep hour. Yeah, I feel like when I do on the weekends, it's like my sleep in days, is like I like to call it, but then also my staying up later days. So mm -hmm. even 10 o'clock, like we went to bed at 10 o'clock, I'm just like dragging. So I'd say, do I have a hair? You do. It's a Molly hair. <laughs> Um, I'd say going to bed anywhere for me is probably between 8 and 8.30. That's my good. good yeah. Time. And how many hours of sleep? I didn't think about the math before you asked me. This I know. I no, okay. but like on average, what is your good hour of sleep? Because everybody is different yeah. and we each have different sleep times. I feel like when I tested it and I don't set my alarm and I just go to bed and wake up, mm -hmm. 10 hours seems to be about my weekend time. So I want to say like 8 to 10 is really good for me. Anything under 8, I'm a little groggy. Over 10, I'm really groggy. But it also helps, like, now that it's sunnier out in the mornings, I wake oh, up yeah. so much better if the sun's up. But in the winter, when it's when dark, it's dark it's I swear I can oh. have my perfect amount of sleep, and I'm still just like, eh. Because your body still sees darkness outside, and it's yeah. like, oh, it's still dark. I should still be in bed. Yeah. How about so. you? What's your happy hour? Uh, Like you, 8 to 10, but yeah. typically around 8 to 9. But 10, if I really, my body's exhausted beyond belief, it can sleep yeah, for a good 10 I hours. Say, I got like, yeah, like 8 this morning, because I went to bed around midnight last night, and I woke up before my alarm that was set for 8. I woke up at like 7.50. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, went to bed a little after 10 o'clock last night, and the boys were up at 7. <laughs> so, for me, not going to lie, I actually woke up pretty good. This is why I don't have kids. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Corky and I are going to have our own wing of this house. My dog does not start his day before noon. Let me tell you that right now. He lays in bed. Corky? He's a lazy. Yeah, he does. He's yeah, lazy. No. no, he was in bed when I left for work this morning. My dog Molly, she'll wake up with me and she's ready to go. And I'm just like, mm -mm. go back to bed. Why are you awake? If I go to the gym at 3 a.m., I leave. My dog's in my bed. I come back. He's still in my bed. Looks at me, acknowledges my presence, goes back to sleep until noon when I come home for lunch. He's like the dream dog of yes. just laying in bed all day. So, we're waking up. It's a weekday. We're both up around 4 or 5. 
5 in the morning, what's the first thing you do when you get up? Well, first of all, how do you get up? I set my alarm. For, and this is, what is your ringtone? So um, every right has now, a ringtone. I love waking up to music. I cannot, I have an alarm clock because for the longest time I wasn't waking up to my music. So I bought a legit alarm clock and it's mm -hmm. the most obnoxious, the beeping yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, I hate those. I am so crabby when that thing goes off. I can't, so mm -hmm. right now, it depends on my mood, but lately I've been waking up to the good old song. Goodbye Summer, Thomas Rhett and Kelsey, I'm pretty sure it's Kelsey Valerini or Danielle Bradbury, don't quote me. Mine is just Rose on my phone, and this is what it is, if it'll play. And it gets louder every time, that's how I have it set, so it's like, ugh, I guess. Well, yes. Mine, okay, yeah, so it's Danielle Bradbury and Thomas Rhett, and it's just like, I just like the song. Now that it's nice out, I'm like, yes. It's so summer. Embracing the warm weather. Don't want to get a copyright. No, ma'am. But yeah, so I kind of pick just whatever song I'm really feeling. If I have been like in a weird slump, I'll play some boss, like, boss has bitch music. See, I can't. I'm, I need something subtle to just like ease me into it. Something loud and obnoxious is a shock to my system and I just don't appreciate that. I like subtle. Let me gradually wake up. It, yeah. That's and some I people mean. love the annoying beep. The, the husband, iPhone like beep that goes. And I'm like, my husband has a dee 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 dee. That drove me up a wall. I'd probably like smack him, be like, hurry up and get out of bed and turn that thing off so I can go back to I sleep. I used to, when we had iPhones, I was like, shut your alarm off. <laughs> now. Bad, bad, bad. I'm like, why? Why do you want to wake up to that in the morning? It's like, it's the only thing that gets me out of bed. No. I'm like, uh, no. Bacon. Bacon can get you out of bed. And other things. <laughs> Not for the tube. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> So, also, if you are just starting, I've hit the point now that if my phone's by my bed, my alarm's by my bed, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really hit snooze. I've never really been a big snoozer. In high school, I was like, my alarm was my mother, and she was the let's flick on the lights and shock you mm. alarm. That's what I did to my kids. But then I'd be like, okay, I'm up, and then I'd like, <laughs> go back to bed, <laughs> fall asleep, and then 20 minutes later, she'd be... Get up! My dad like, I'm up, off. I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Get back to bed. Finally, like 15 minutes before we had to be out of the house. Get butt out of bed! I'm up, I'm up, and I'd actually get up. Um, so, setting your alarm across the room is not a bad idea if you are a snoozer. Um, once yeah. you get used to it and your body gets into a routine, not that hard to have it next to you, but. That even going to bed, having your phone away from you is not a bad thing. Like, just let your brain not be stimulated for a while mm -hmm. and go to sleep. Yeah. So we set our alarms. They go off. We're all in our happy mood because they're not loud and obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> then what do you do? Then I turn it off. I get out of bed and I make my bed. It's pitch black, but I know. I get the gist. I make my bed because it makes me happy. And then I go into the bathroom, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, and then I go downstairs and depending on if I'm getting ready to go to the gym, I'll take my pre-workout, um, get everything ready and packed and head to the gym. If it's not a gym day, then I just start my coffee, have a cup of coffee and relax. Yeah. I'm about the same, only I definitely get up and the first thing I do is go pee. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't know we were getting that elaborate, so that's Whatever. Kind of like... It's the reality. If you don't have to pee in the morning, what kind of person are you? Yeah, no. Bring in Superman. That's who you are. So, go to the bathroom. And then I actually wash my face first. Kind of do it. Put my, my bedroom's right by my hallway. So, I'll use my hallway light so I don't disrupt Corky too much. And then I like to make my bed first thing in the morning because if it is open, mm -hmm. it's so easy for me to, like, crawl back into bed and I see my dog and... <sighs> it's rough, though, because if he's sleeping right there, I'm like, well, I don't want to, like, make you move. I don't know. So, Phew. yeah. So if he's on the bed, I'll usually wait and I'll just like 
get up, do my stuff. Like I said, if it's gym day, it's definitely pre-workout. Mm -hmm. It's not a gym day, then it's getting the coffee going. Yeah. Um, also, a nice thing to wake up to is I have an automatic coffee maker that I can set the time. So on like weekends and stuff, I'll set that and I love waking up to the smell, smell of and the sound of my coffee brewing. Yes. Is that lovely. is like a nice alarm in itself. How to start your day right, right there. Um, and then like usually I'll go to the gym or something, then I'll try to make my bed. But yeah, I mean if Corky's sleeping, he runs my life. Bed's not getting made until he's up and at it. Yeah. And then, so let's say it's a gym day. We go to the gym. What's your next step after you get home from the gym? After I get home from the gym. Because that's probably like an hour. 45 minutes an yeah. hour. We're both about. Okay, so I come home from the gym and then I start getting my son's lunch ready. And I start making my breakfast. And then typically on how I'm feeling, I'll either make my cup of coffee and drink a cup before work. Or I'll just get my coffee set up and ready so I can make it after I shower. But we'll just say I wanted to have a cup of coffee. So I make my cup of coffee. I'm drinking it while I'm making my son's lunch. After my cup of coffee is done and their backpacks are set up. Then I go upstairs, take my shower, wash my face again, <laughs> wash my hair. <laughs> and I wash my face like three times a day. <laughs> and then I get dressed and then wake up the boys, get the boys dressed, and then we head out the door. Yeah. Mine is definitely getting back, put my stuff away from where I grabbed it from the gym, getting coffee going if it's not already done, hopping in the shower, then when I'm done I drink my coffee while I'm watching like usually YouTube or Netflix, whatever, whatever I'm behind on, and then it's kind of like I get Corky's food ready, One, I'm really bad about eating breakfast sometimes. Usually, usually fasting. Yeah, usually it's about breakfast and then yeah, just like getting ready, still mm -hmm. watching YouTube. <laughs> and then yeah, I, I go to work. It's about it. Mm -hmm. Not too elaborate. It's just like nice being slowed down and having the time mm -hmm. rather than like a day that I'm waking up with 15 minutes to get right. out of the house and it's like, oh, dry <laughs> shampoo, deodorant, what looking now? like a slob, putting those scrubs on, hair's probably in a bun, you haven't eaten, you don't have your coffee, mm -hmm. like, it's just better. So, yeah, just to recap, basically, so if you are wanting to start waking up earlier, having more me time, biggest thing is to find your why. Why do you want to wake up? Why do you want those extra hours instead of just crawling back into bed and saying I'm gonna sleep a little longer because I'm really comfortable right now? Mm -hmm. Find that and then the other thing like next biggest step is Finding your sleep schedule and getting that figured out because once you have those two things down I feel yeah. like the rest is really up to you and how you do it once you know your morning routine and what you want to accomplish in that day, you're golden. And don't do it cold turkey like I did. Set that <laughs> alarm back 30 minutes at a time to build up that tolerance. Yeah, some people <laughs> might have to do 15 even. Like, yeah. if you're used to waking up at 7, I, yeah, I don't recommend pushing yourself to wake up at 3.30 like she did. It's You'll see the struggle up. if you watch last couple weeks ago's video. We mm -hmm. definitely didn't film last week, sorry. Life happened. It did. And we needed a break because we did. School, work, life. It's just you gotta do what you gotta do. It gets overwhelming sometimes. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope we helped give you a little bit of an insight on how to get yourself to wake up earlier and what worked for us. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have any helpful tips that would help make our transitions easier, because we're still only doing this for about like three solid weeks now, and mm -hmm. even that hasn't been the most consistent well, thing. Well, for you. Yeah. I've been waking up at four for like a couple months now. Yeah. I just got back into the swing of it. It's been rough. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, love to hear them down below. Upload on Sundays. Except for last week. <laughs> Failed there. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Like.
hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.